Whoa, is that old Ford supercharged? Are you kidding me? Of course it's supercharged. Can't you hear the whine out of this big bad puppy right here? We've got another old truck in the yard. Check out this hot rod wagon. Here we got a 1979 Ford F-150, four wheel drive, 306 with a four speed, the best combo you can find. Just go ahead and open her up here so you can show the going to town units. We've got uh, the Ranger package, what's left of it. Got the proper wood grain going on. We've got components that are barely even worn out. Plush comfort. And you know, a, a door that, that seals about as good as having no door, but you know, you can't complain. So, you know, all around, it's a 10 out of 10. See if we can do the multi-step dent side hood open process, one-handed. Oh yeah, first try. Hey, we got battery cooling going on. I can't imagine how that happened. Nice cherry old 306 in here. In case you were wondering how much it leaks. Yes, it leaks. Anyhow, uh, six in a row. Can't beat them. They're like the best inline six ever made. Of course, uh, a lot of people will probably argue that, but your comment's invalid because I'm the one with the video camera, right? Ha. Huh. But uh, yeah, when everyone's LS swap breaks down and they aren't worth anything anymore, one of these will tow all that stuff to the scrapyard, so. Shots fired! Shots fired! You don't even have to uh, worry about finding something reliable to do that. I, uh, I picked this thing up down the road and checked the oil and there was nothing on the stick. So I proceeded to put the battery in it, cold start it and drive it home anyway and then top the oil off once I got it home. She got some uh, used AMS oil. So, you know, that should compensate for the severe lack of quality in the Fram oil filter. But overall, she runs like a top, just like any old 300. The uh, clutch is pretty pretty tired out on her but still works doesn't grind gears or anything too badly so you know that's good rest of the truck here still needs a nice alaska pipe bumper but it's a work in progress needs some chrome chrome uh work there and you know gotta love the torched out door because the hinges are sagging so bad it wouldn't open anymore so they just took the liquid tool to that and this is for aerodynamics. Yep, uh-huh. It's got overload springs. Kind of shocking to see on a half ton, but kind of cool. She's, uh, she's pretty rough. But rough goes well in this yard. Fits in with a lot of other rigs. Got a nice old beefy tow frame back here. Nice seasoned bumper. Gotta love the, the tape on the tail light it's even custom it's ready for sema let's take it one old mirror kind of still hanging on that's how you solve that problem but you know pretty pretty roomy in here like any old ford still comfortable got to love an old bench seat there's a better look at the ranger package there but uh nice old floor mat it's just just a nice truck you can't find this kind of quality. That one, that one hangs on a little better. So, you know, wouldn't be a proper old truck video if we didn't hop in this thing and go rally it. Rally it some more, I mean. So, let's get after that. Oh, right. It's a dent side, not a bump side. Whoops. Just look how good this thing fires right up. Let's take her for a neighborhood terrorize run.
Whoa, is that old Ford supercharged? Are you kidding me? Of course it's supercharged. Can't you hear the whine out of this big bad puppy right here? It's got so much power, it'll spin the tires on snow. Backyard Alaskan landscaping, have old Ford will travel. This thing just four by is like a dream. We've got some leakage going on, but that's fine. Well, I appreciate everybody watching. I had a bunch of fun blasting through the snow in this old 79. Hope you guys enjoyed as well. Fun little truck. I'm kind of impressed by, uh, you know, being a half ton low ground clearance and, you know, how capable it is in the snow. But uh, it's obviously got a locked rear differential. Of course, the good tires help as well. And then the, the four speed and the Torquey 300, it, it's pretty impressive. I guess you can say I'm slowly picking up all the old Fords around here. So Kind of surprised it took me this long to find an old dent side but we finally got one here in the collection so she's pretty rough but still a fun little little truck definitely gonna have more fun with it here in the future so good to have it around so real quick here before we sign off there's a youtube channel i want to suggest to you guys now there's this dude on instagram that i've chatted with quite a bit uh, basically he's super into anything vintage international harvester related especially pre-1970s and older, mostly trucks. He's got some cool rigs in his collection. Now he focuses on uh, early trucks, international made, and the early four-wheel drives, especially uh, the, the rare side of things like Coleman four-wheel drive conversion, stuff like that, that uh, not a lot of people know or see much of. So uh, super cool. He's a wealth of knowledge. He posts all kinds of stuff on his Instagram, and you can definitely learn a bunch from him. He's a, a talented musician, so that's super cool in itself. But uh, he's got his own YouTube channel, and basically this guy is uh, doing what Roadkill used to do and what a lot of other shows should be doing. He's walking into junkyards, seeing these old international trucks, seeing potential in them. He bakes, basically guts them, pulls the axles, transfer cases, stuff like that, hauls them home to his shop, rebuilds everything, freshens everything up, goes back to the junkyard, slaps him back in the truck, revives the thing on spot, and uh, basically drives it out of its actual resting place and then takes it several hundred miles home and has an absolute trip out of it. So, you know, super cool content. You can learn a bunch. The guy's an absolute legend for the stuff he does. So be sure to go check out his channel, Bare Knuckle Binder. I'll link the channel at the end of the video and down in the description below 
and uh, his Instagram is the same. Go check him out on Instagram at Bare Knuckle Binder. But uh, like I said, go over to his channel, blow up his videos, give him a bunch of views, likes, and subscribe to the channel. Get him put on the map so a lot more people can learn about international and we can bring international harvester stuff more into the spotlight of this old truck hobby that we all like so much. So, you know, that'd be cool. But uh, yeah, go check him out. And uh, as far as things go here in this snowy adventure, appreciate everybody watching. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.